Have you ever been disappointed? Hi there, I'm Natty Anderson, and you're listening to Unlocked, your daily key to unlocking God's Word in your life. My family has had chickens for the last three years. We're not farmers or anything, so we spoil them a lot, so they're more like our pets than anything else. Well, a few weeks ago, I got a text from my dad saying that all of our chickens had been killed by a fox. It was absolutely awful. I've lost chickens to disease before, and I've had to put a dog down, but having all my chickens killed at the same time was terrible. I cried, and I cried, and I could still cry when I just think about it. I thought they were going to be around for a while. They were healthy, and everybody knew they were like the most beautiful chickens all around, and they were so sweet, and they loved to be held. But then they were gone. Have you ever been disappointed like this, and frankly, heartbroken? We all have been from time to time, which is why today's Devo is so important. It's called Disappointments by Carol Raj. Life as he knew it was over. His most precious possession was out of reach, impossible to retrieve. He lay on the floor, nose touching the ground, limbs outspread in utter dejection. He was 18 months old, and his red ball had rolled behind the sofa. She was 18 years old, and the college she wanted to go to had accepted her, but her estranged father wouldn't pay for a private school. Her hardworking mother couldn't. She sat on the sofa, tears running down her cheeks. He was old. Near the end of his life, he had always wanted to go to Spain, plant new churches, tell the good news to people who had not yet heard. Yet here he was, under house arrest in Rome. How could he accomplish his dreams when his movements were so limited? Paul picked up a pen to God's holy people in Ephesus. Perhaps a few people would read the letter he wrote. No matter your age, life can have its disappointments. If Paul had been free to do more traveling, he might have touched hundreds of lives. Because he couldn't travel, he wrote letters often with help from others. Letters to the Ephesians, the Philippians, the Colossians, and Philemon. Instead of words that might be heard by hundreds in the first century AD, he wrote words that would be read by millions or even billions over many centuries. Words that would change hearts and minds, even today, even in parts of the world unknown in Paul's time. God, in his infinite wisdom, doesn't always give us what we ask for. Has God ever said no to some of your requests? Maybe you didn't make the team, or get a part in the play, or get accepted into the school you really wanted to attend. God always listens to our prayers, but sometimes he has a better plan. Be open to his leading. Let's talk about this a little bit more together. Can you think of a time when you didn't get something you wanted, but later you were grateful for how things turned out? Consider taking a moment to thank God for this. As Christians, we trust God with our eternal salvation. Believing in Jesus' death and resurrection has made the way for us to be forgiven and be with God forever. Yet, sometimes it feels so hard to trust God with our desires. Remember, Jesus cares about our longings. He holds us and weeps with us in our pain. And when he returns, our every desire will be fulfilled. How could these truths help draw us near to Jesus in times of disappointment or suffering? As you and I can read in Romans 8:28, and we know that in all things God works for the good of those who love him, who have been called according to his purpose. Now, I'd encourage you to read in your Bible, Genesis 50, 15 through 20, Romans 15, 23 through 24, Ephesians 1, 1 through 2, as well as Ephesians 6, 19 through 20, to keep God's word alive in your life. Unlocked is a resource of Keys for Kids Ministries. Did today's Devo resonate with you? Do you have ideas for Devos of your own? Well, I want to hear about them. So head over to unlock.org and check out our writer's guidelines to find out how you can write for us. Also, be sure to check back for tomorrow's devotional about an unclean uniform with yours truly. But until then, I'm Natty, encouraging you to live life unlocked, opening the door to God in your life.